Good morning, guys. So, um, I thought that I would take some time to put together a video that would focus on waking people up. I know a lot of us right now are rolling straight out of bed and straight to work. Uh, in my house right now, my family is asleep for the most part. Uh, my dog is asleep. Uh, so I thought it'd be a good opportunity to work on creating some energy, um, focusing the mind, kind of shaking off sleep, uh, and potentially bringing some clarity for you as you move into your meetings, as you prepare for the day. Uh, so I thought maybe we could do this together. Uh, so welcome to our Good Morning Yoga Flow. I've got my tea, I've got my breakfast, and I've got my bolster. So. Uh, if you don't have a bolster, you might look for something in your house that's approximately this size. Uh, it's a good thing to start your meditation on. Um, I like to sit on mine in order to wake up and just clear my mind. But after you've done that, we're going to start at the top of our mat in mountain pose. Uh, so with our feet, hip distance apart, we'll peel our shoulders back, keeping our chest high, and think about lifting up through the crown of the head and really elongating the spine. Closing your eyes, I want you to focus just on breathing for a moment. Bring your breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Inhaling through the nose, really big inhale, fill your lungs. Exhale through your mouth. One more time, we'll take a really big inhale here. And exhale. I want you to keep your eyes closed. And I want you to notice the way that you shift on your feet. We oftentimes uh, will try to learn balance postures um, or inversions, so headstands, handstands. Uh, one of the things people notice the most is the sway in your body. But we often forget that when we learn to walk, we also had to overcome that sway. Sway is our body's natural way of adapting to where we are in space um, and just pushing us back towards center. So keeping your eyes closed, I want you to notice the way that your muscles will catch you and push you back towards center. Opening our eyes, we'll inhale, taking our hands to the ceiling. And I want you to exhale, sitting back in the chair. Inhale up, reaching for the sky. Exhale, crescent moon on the right side. Left arm extends overhead as we reach and open up our side body. Inhaling up, exhale, leaning to the left side, crescent moon. Really stretching the side body. Inhale up and exhale, chair. Inhaling up, we'll exhale, crescent moon. Inhale up, exhale, crescent moon. Coming through center as we inhale, we'll exhale, sitting back in the chair. Last time, we'll inhale up to the sky. Exhale, falling to the right side, stretching that left arm overhead. Inhale up. Exhale, leaning to the left, taking the right arm overhead. Inhale up to center. Reaching as high as you can, we'll exhale, swan dive forward fold. Nodding the head yes, and shaking the head no. Making sure not to get it in your coffee or your tea. We'll inhale, rolling up through the spine, bringing our energy up high to the sky. Exhale, chair. Holding chair here. I want you to keep focusing on your breath and notice the warmth that's being created in your quad muscles, in the tops of our thighs. Feel that warmth as if your body is charging that energy. And then as you inhale, I want you to take your hands up to the sky and reach through your fingertips, sending that energy out. 
exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Soften one knee and straighten the other. So we begin to wake up our lower body and prepare for the day. Beautiful. Planting our hands on the mat, hop, step, or walk back to a high plank. As we exhale, I want you to lower all the way to the floor. And inhale, pressing up into a gentle baby cobra. Nice light back bend. With our knees wide, we'll press back into a child's pose. Extending our arms out in front. Here we're driving our hips toward our heels and our forehead to the floor. Exhale, walking the hands forward and pressing the hips toward the sky. Puppy pose. Opening up the thoracic spine here. Our goal is to put our chest and our chin on the mat. But wherever you may be, especially first thing in the morning, if you're here, if you're here, if you're up here, wherever you feel that stretch right here between the shoulder blades, you're in the right spot. And rooting through our elbows and our palms will bring our chest through, opening up for sphinx. Here our shoulders are pinched back. Curling our toes underneath, we'll bring our hands beneath our shoulders and press up into our first downward dog. Softening one knee and straightening the other. Shifting our hips from side to side, really waking up our body. And then driving both heels toward the floor, if not to the floor. We'll take that downward dog and then roll up through the spine into a high plank. Exhale, chaturanga to the floor. Inhale, either cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Rolling up through the spine, high plank. Exhale, lowering down, elbows into the rib cage. Inhale, upward dog, or baby cobra. Exhale, downward dog. And last time we'll roll up through the spine. Exhale as we lower down to the floor. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Softening the knees, take the gaze between the palms, hop, step, or walk to the front of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, hands up to the sky. Exhale, chair. Inhale, up. Exhale, crescent moon on the right side. Inhale, up. Exhale, crescent moon on the left side. Inhale, up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Walking the feet out wide, we'll drop our hips to the floor and roll back into a dead bug, rocking gently from side to side. Taking our feet overhead, we'll move into plow. And then roll up into a forward fold. Coming back through center, plow. Forward fold. And then the last one, plow. We'll return to our low yogi squat. Standing up, reaching for the ceiling, and exhaling down into mountain pose. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that you are nice and awake, uh, that you have a little more energy to start your day. Uh, please enjoy your coffee or your tea. Take some time for you. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you again in our next video. Um, if you like this content, please like and share. And as always, namaste.